Today we're diving into the secret sauce of keeping her on her toes and chasing you forever. Stay tuned as we reveal the three ways to make sure she never feels too secure, ensuring she remains invested in your relationship. So let's get into it. 1. Stay playful. First off, you should never let a woman tame your sense of humor and playfulness. One of the biggest mistakes guys make is getting too serious too quickly. Even in a committed relationship, keeping things light and fun is crucial. When you're too serious, it can create unnecessary tension and make the relationship feel like a chore. Imagine your girl texts you wanting to discuss why she needs space. Instead of diving into a heavy conversation, keep it light. When she comes over to talk, make her laugh, be playful, and don't get bogged down in the details of what went wrong. Trust me, it works wonders. So stop overanalyzing. Constantly bringing up issues can make things feel draining for both of you. It's important to enjoy the time you spend together rather than dissecting every little thing she does. If you notice she's acting a bit distant, don't jump to conclusions or bombard her with questions. Instead, focus on having a good time when you're together. She'll appreciate the positive vibes and be more drawn to you. When your woman is in a bad mood, don't try to fix it with logic. Instead, focus on changing her mood. Make her laugh, get playful, or do something spontaneous. You can't argue someone out of a bad mood, but you can definitely cheer them up. If she's upset about something, surprise her with her favorite snack or suggest a fun activity. It shows that you care about how she feels and can turn her day around. During those uncertain phases of a relationship, act confidently as if you were together, but don't push for serious talks about exclusivity. Let her bring it up when she's ready. If you're not sure where you stand, just enjoy the moments you have. When she eventually asks about exclusivity, give a playful but reassuring answer. Like of course, we're exclusive, except for Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. Just kidding. Avoid seeking closure before the relationship is truly over. Often the first breakup isn't the end. Stay cool, composed and don't let things get too heavy. If she says she needs space, don't panic. Give her the space she needs without making it a big deal. Chances are she'll come back if you handle it calmly. Remember it's all about staying playful, avoiding overanalysis, changing her mood, being confident, and not seeking premature closure. Keep things light and fun, and she'll always be drawn to your positive energy. Let's jump into the next big concept, your time and attention. This is crucial. A lot of guys fall into the trap of being too available, and this can seriously kill the attraction. When it comes to messaging her, quality over quantity. One common mistake is how much you message her. It's not just about you messaging too much, but also what you allow her to message you about. Let me give you an example. I have a friend whose girl started sending him memes, jokes, and even pictures of her dog every day. Cute, right? But here's the thing. He replied to all of it. And guess what? When it came time for their date, she canceled. They had talked about everything throughout the week, so there was nothing left to talk about in person. Instead of replying to every little message, set boundaries. If she sends you a picture of her dog, say something like, that's cute, let's talk about it when we meet up. This keeps the conversation fresh for your actual dates and maintains a bit of mystery. I've seen this with my married friends. They're constantly texting their wives during a night out. Meanwhile, I hardly get any texts from my girl because we see each other all the time. When we're apart, I want her to miss me. This keeps the excitement and anticipation alive. Encourage a bit of space. When you're out with friends, don't be glued to your phone. Let her wonder what you're up to. When she misses you, she'll value the time you spend together even more. Give her the gift of missing you. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. If you're constantly available, she doesn't have the chance to miss you. This isn't about playing hard to get, but rather about maintaining a healthy balance. If she's out with friends for the weekend, don't bombard her with texts. Let her enjoy her time. And when she gets back, the reunion will be much sweeter. It's all about creating those moments where she can't wait to see you again. Don't always respond immediately. You don't need to respond to every message right away. If she sends a good morning text, it's okay to reply when you have a moment, not necessarily immediately. This shows that you have your own life and priorities. If she texts you good night and you don't respond right away, she'll be wondering what you're up to. This intrigue increases your value in her eyes. She might be a little frustrated, but that's okay. It's a sign that she's invested in you. Avoid constantly appeasing her. Women don't need to be appeased to feel attraction. In fact, always trying to please her can reduce the attraction. 
Don't be afraid to let her experience a bit of frustration. This doesn't mean being unkind or rude, but rather maintaining your boundaries and not always giving in. If she sends you a meme, you don't always have to respond. It's okay to ignore it sometimes. Focus on your own activities and let her feel that slight longing. Now what about in person? How much should you be hanging out with her every weekend? How much time should you be spending together? What should you be doing as you're transitioning into that relationship role? I hate hard rules, but one thing I do say is you want to put a high value on the time you give. This might sound a little contradictory. A lot of times, you think you're the cool guy if you're the casual guy. You're hanging out, stopping by, she's going out with her girlfriends but stops by for a bit to watch Netflix. That's fine in the later stages of a relationship, but if you want her chasing you, you can't be the casual guy. So be the high time slot guy. The casual hangout guy isn't the guy she gets excited to see. You want to be the high time slot guy, the one she gets dressed up for, the one she talks to her friends about. If you're serious about her, don't settle for just any time she has available. Instead, suggest something more meaningful. If she suggests a casual hangout, propose a proper date instead. For example, if she says, I'm hanging out with my friends, but I can stop by later. Say that sounds fun, but how about we go out on a proper date this weekend? Avoid being the lunch guy. The only thing worse than being the casual hangout guy is being the lunch guy. If she wants to meet for lunch, it's a bad sign. It means she's fitting you into her schedule without prioritizing you. When she suggests lunch, politely spin it into something better. If she says, let's meet for lunch, respond with, lunch sounds nice, but I'd love to take you out for dinner. Let's plan something special. Assert your value. If you want her to chase you, you have to assert your value. This doesn't mean giving her ultimatums, but rather not settling for low effort meetups. If she can't make plans that show she values your time, don't be afraid to decline politely. For instance, if she says, I can't meet up tonight, but we can grab coffee tomorrow, you can respond with, I'm actually busy tomorrow, but let me know when you're free for dinner this week. Be willing to walk away. This is crucial. You need to be willing to walk away if she isn't putting in the effort. It shows that you value yourself and aren't desperate for her attention. If she keeps suggesting casual meetups or canceling plans, don't just go along with it. Let her know that you're interested in more meaningful time together. If she's not on the same page, be ready to move on. When you set higher standards for your time together, it creates anticipation and excitement. She'll look forward to seeing you and value the time you spend together more. Plan fun and exciting dates that she'll remember. It doesn't have to be extravagant, but make sure it's something more than just hanging out. For example, instead of just watching Netflix, plan a surprise picnic or take her to a new restaurant. Remember to maintain your own time and space, set clear expectations, give her the gift of missing you, and don't always respond immediately. Avoid being the casual hangout or lunch guy. Assert your value, be willing to walk away, and create anticipation and excitement. This will help keep the spark alive and make her chase you forever. The final point we'll talk about today, and this is a lifelong challenge, is your reactions. She cannot tame your reactions. This is one of the hardest tests, and when she gets frustrated with you, can you keep your cool? Can you maintain your sense of humor and not let her move you off your spot? This is a crucial test that women will give you throughout your entire relationship. So stay cool under pressure. I have this friend who recently got back with his ex. Things were going well, but she sent a text saying, Hey, I just want to make sure you're still serious about us. I feel like you're slowing down. He freaked out and asked me what to do. I told him to defuse it with humor. He replied, Babe, I live my life a quarter mile at a time, and I want you along for the ride. It's a line from the fast and the furious. It was funny and it diffused the situation. She knew he liked her, but it also showed he wasn't going to be pulled into unnecessary drama. So change her mood, not her mind. Don't let her drag you into a logical discussion. If humor doesn't work, use intimacy. Pull her towards you, kiss her, and say, you're so sexy when you're angry. Defuse the tension with affection. Women thrive on emotional turbulence and they want you to ground them with your masculine energy. Now let me tell you about this technique of positive frustration. The biggest fear many guys have when implementing these strategies is that if they frustrate her, she'll walk away. But here's the truth. Women enjoy a certain level of frustration when it's done positively. This creates excitement and keeps the relationship dynamic. I often hear she dated this toxic guy for five years who really frustrated her, but she left all the nice guys within weeks. 
The toxic guy provided a challenge that kept her engaged, even if it was unhealthy. This doesn't mean you should be toxic, but it highlights that women often stay with men who present a challenge. Be a good guy, but don't be afraid to introduce positive frustration. Don't always be available, and don't cater to her every whim. It's okay to go out with your friends or not answer her text immediately. This shows that you have your own life and aren't dependent on her for your happiness. One key aspect of creating positive frustration is controlling your reactions. Women will test you with emotional turbulence. They want to see if you can stay grounded and not be easily moved by their drama. When she gets frustrated or upset, maintain your cool. Use humor or intimacy to defuse the situation instead of reacting with similar drama. This demonstrates your stability and confidence. If she starts a dramatic argument, respond with humor. If humor doesn't work, pull her in for a kiss and tell her she's sexy when she's angry. This shifts the mood without giving in to the drama. And don't be afraid of jealousy. Many guys fear making their women jealous, especially if her previous boyfriend cheated on her. However, mild jealousy can actually be beneficial. It keeps her aware that you're desirable to others, and she needs to put an effort to keep you. Her previous boyfriend may have cheated, but she stayed with him for years. This shows she was engaged by the challenge, even if it was negative. You don't need to cheat to create this effect. Simply show that you have other interests and a life outside of her. Go out with your friends occasionally without her. Show that you have your own social circle and activities. This mild jealousy reminds her that you're valued by others, which increases her desire to keep you. If you want to understand how to seduce a woman, look at the guy she stayed with the longest. He likely frustrated her in ways that kept her interested, even if he was a bad influence. You can learn from this without adopting his negative behaviors. Women often talk about how their ex-boyfriends frustrated them, but they still stayed for years. This frustration kept them engaged. As a good guy, you can incorporate positive aspects of this behavior without the negativity. Don't do everything she complains about her ex-boyfriend not doing. Instead understand what kept her engaged and adapt those elements positively. Be a challenge, be mysterious, and don't always be readily available. Being a good guy doesn't mean being a pushover. When you combine being a good person with the elements of positive frustration, you become irresistible. You're the guy who's kind, but also a challenge. This balance keeps her excited and engaged. So frustrate her in a positive way. To leave you with a mantra, frustrate her in a positive way. Bad boys frustrated her negatively, but she stayed because of the challenge. You're a good guy, so give her positive frustration. Show her you care, but don't be afraid to challenge her. Balance kindness with a challenge. Be unpredictable in a fun way. Plan spontaneous dates, surprise her, and don't always be available. This keeps the relationship exciting and dynamic. By the way, like and subscribe for more content. See you next time.